Hi, good morning. This is Deb, and I am here to talk about junk. What puts junk in junk journaling? So, this is not all inclusive, it is subjective without any doubt. Um, and there are, <laughs> you know, when you, you when you've got a rule, there's always a an exception to that rule, and that's the same way with junk. Junk is in the eye of the beholder. But I'm going to give you a, a basic rundown on what makes junk. So this is a paper bag that I bought um, for specifically for journaling. It is not junk because I bought it. Okay, this is a bag that I got when we went out to eat and it had silverware in it. This is junk because I would have thrown this away. So that's one of the telltale signs of uh, whether or not it's junk. And that is if you are going to throw it away. Is it trash? Um, now, as I mentioned, there's always an exception to the rule. One of those exceptions is something that you're going to repurpose. So, yes, I bought this, and its purpose is to put lunch in it. I am going to repurpose it. So, by that um, rule breaker <laughs> or rule extender, that then makes this junk. So, let's talk about repurposing. Because we talked a little bit about something that we are going to repurpose. Okay, so these are brand new. I got these out of the cupboard. So, eventually they would be thrown away. But right now, they are... Um, they're use they're still usable for what it is that they were purchased for but you can repurpose these to put them in your junk uh, junk journal and so therefore they are junk or they can be junk so here is a CD case holder so um, you know, who uses CDs anymore? You could actually even use a CD in your uh, journal. Um, but this is a CD case holder. Makes great pockets. You know, because it's got the uh, acetate window. You can, you know, put something in there to display it. So that makes a really good uh, piece for journaling. I'm trying to cover that reflection up. Um, here is a hook. I have no earthly idea. I found this. I've got a box that's got all kinds of metal things. And if I find something, I put it in there. I looked through there. I thought that's cute. I attached it to this because it would make a great uh, wrap for my Christmas journal. So, but what, was, what it was in, initially intended for, I have no idea. But I'm going to repurpose it. Here are some great, um, same kind of idea as this, to use as pulls or uh, clasps on a journal. And these are pop tops. So, junk would have thrown these away. And uh, here's a nail that could be used in your um, junk journal. I've seen a lot of um, ju uh, journals that, um, tag on it, her name is, uh, mm, I'm not going to think of her name, but she uses a lot of this kind of stuff in her journals. I posted one of her videos on the other group, the primitive group. Oh, she makes amazing, amazing um junk journals and they are truly junk uh, here's some kind of a I don't know a plastic deal 
here is a flattened thimble as I told you in previous videos uh, I bought so it's a brand new thimble and I bought it specifically so that my husband could flatten them and I could use them in journals Here's another, this is a picture hanger. Here's a um, upholstery holder. You know, back in the olden days, they put these to hold their doilies and their little their uh, armrests and things like that. You could cut this thing off and use that. And that's kind of cute. Here's a piece of jewelry that my friend uh, Tammy sent to me. It would look beautiful on the front of a journal. So you could even repurpose jewelry. Um, here are a couple of lamp. I don't even know if they make these anymore. Uh, lamp decorations. I put this on one side and this on the other. And it kind of dresses up your lamp shade. And uh, they would look great on the front of a journal. And so, I would be repurposing them. <clears throat> Here is a card. Uh, this is one that uh, Laura sent to me, and um, she used it. So, she she definitely repurposed this, because she, while the card is new, she repurposed it to put the, the uh, thread on there that she sent to me. Isn't that cute? I just love it. That's such a cute idea. So um, this is going to go in my, um, what I call my smash book, which has got all of the memorabilia and things like that that I save. Um, you know, when people send me cards and, and you know, notes and things like that. Uh, this is one that I got from my granddaughter, Faith. Um so I save all these things and I put them in my smash book. Here is a journal that I made. Um, it is a combination of things. So, but it does have some junk in it. This is an earring. This is a post earring that I have um, pushed through there. The book itself, okay, is cardboard. Oh, it was one of those... Um, cardboard boxes that my uh, ink came in. Uh, Sue gave me scraps of, uh, of home deck fabric. That, love that stuff. I have used it. And so that's, that's what's covering this. Uh, this is the inside is fabric that I had. <clears throat> so that would be the next um, the next thing would be something that you already have on hand. So it may be new, um, but if it's something that you already have on hand and you're going to use it in your journal, even if it's, so even if it's scrapbook paper, let's say that you've got scrapbook paper left over from when you made cards or did scrapbooking or whatever, even though you're going to use it as a paper product, you already had that on hand. So that counts as junk, in my opinion. So the a lot of these pages are uh, just, le the, these are leftover digis. Yes, I bought the digi, but they were leftover from whatever it was that I had originally made. So I used all these leftover papers in uh in this book uh in my sue book and um so and you can actually write this is actually a journal to write in even you can even write over printed p pages like this because you would be able to read that you know you could write in this i mean journaling is uh, you you write wherever you want to write so I love these. So had these deals and they are definitely being used for the purpose that they were intended for. Um, but, um, I had, I already had them on hand. They were leftovers 
And so <clears throat> that's a good example there. Okay, so this lace was given to me. So it's brand new. It's on the card. Well, when I say brand new, I mean it, it really isn't brand new. It's vintage lace. This is vintage lace that she cut off of a wedding dress. And she sent both of these to me. So these are both junk. Okay, I already showed you the bags. Here's a prime example of, this dude is old, but it makes beautiful, you know, just tear out hunks or use the whole page. I mean, th these old hymnals make beautiful uh, additions to a junk journal. Here is a book that I got at a thrift store. This book is so awesome. And it was my intention to see how it's just old and I love this kind of stuff. And it's all bent and rusty. And so it was my intention that I was going to leave all this, but I was going to collage over the top of it. You know, and you might see some of this behind there. And then I was going to do the same thing. So it was basically going to be a um, kind of a glue book or a smash book. Um, and then do the same thing. In here, I was going to leave that like it is. It talks about, you know, <laughs> as a future Kentucky gentleman. <laughs> and, um, but it's got such neat images. And it's just, I don't know if I can, I don't, and some of the, the recipes are really cool. So, yeah, as you can see at this point, I haven't done anything with it. <laughs> even though that was my intention. Here's a great example of junk. It is brand spanking new. I just got it in the mail. It's got beautiful images in there that I will cut out and use in my um, in my journals. But typically, once you're done with this, just like the Sears catalog that don't we wish we had all those Sears catalogs from back in the day, typically this would go into the trash. So therefore, it's considered junk. <clears throat> Here's a book that I got at a used bookstore. Um, very popular. Her, uh, Joanna Bassford's uh, books are very popular. But when you look through here, some of the pages are colored. And so it's used. Makes it junk. But it's still useful for my purposes. Um, so let's talk about envelopes okay let's talk about envelopes this envelope is not junk it's brand new okay again if I'm going to reuse it or repurpose it into a pocket or into a journal because this journal was made out of envelopes just like that the whole thing it's nothing but envelopes so is this junk or is this not junk eye of the beholder this is definitely junk it's mail that I got would def uh, typically go in the trash junk not junk junk but again repurposing making it into a because these make wonderful uh, journal covers and all other kinds of stuff eye of the beholder this is definitely uh, junk this is an Amazon packaging these kind of envelopes see how crinkly and they make excellent journal covers I have made several journals using these just because I've covered them and oh, they make wonderful, wonderful journals, journal covers. Okay, here is a brand spanking new file folder that I bought. 
okay not junk here is an old 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 one that I already had on hand junk here is one of the brand new ones that I uh, soaked in tea junk or not junk eye of the beholder same thing for this you know Tammy my friend Tammy made this awesome folder out of a file folder a brand spanking new file folder that she aged and distressed and collaged on here's another one that she made oops dropped one of the tags here's another one that she made um, <clears throat> so <clears throat> excuse me you know again I have the beholder uh, I think no this is cardstock of some sort so you know when people ask you know what is junk and what isn't junk you know it's basically um, it's basically up to you whatever you want to consider as junk both of these uh, journals were made from envelopes this one was made um, with the bigger you can see I didn't bring one of them out but the um, um, this is a folio and because I've got them all covered up you can't see it but they're craft they're made out of craft and they're this size and I bought them at Hobby Lobby uh, I actually already had those on hand, but I bought them at Hobby Lobby, and um, they came with envelopes. So, not only have I used the envelopes, but I have also used the the um, the card the card blanks for a lot of different projects. So, but um, you can see here how this was the uh, I think this is this was a smaller envelope. And I use this as a pocket. Um, you know, you just... And th this will be a fun project that we'll work on. I'll show you how to make a folio. I love making folios. They're lots of fun. So, start collecting your envelopes. This is one that Tammy made. This is beautiful. Tammy does such beautiful work. And she made it out of envelopes, out of the white envelopes. And so this is this is also a folio. So folios kind of flip, and you can see it's got some really great. Um, she uses ephemera. She uses the real deal ephemera. I use fake ephemera <laughs> most generally, but she uses the real deal. She does such beautiful work. Oops, drop that. I am so dropsy. I drop everything. So see, you can see how she has taken a um, playing card and she has repurposed it and uh, done uh, made it into an art artist trading card type. And she's got this full of all kinds of little tickets and stamps. Start saving your stamps. Look how cute those stamps are and she uses as you can see all kinds of um, you know just everything and she layers all this stuff up so cute so so cute and she uses stamps um, not these kind of stamps but rubber stamps and uh, anyway she has inspired me with so many of her projects I have been very fortunate to have her as as uh, my friend since I've started journaling and she has taught me a lot so anyway uh, so start saving your envelopes start looking at everything that you get in the mail with a different eye um, and you know things that you before you throw it away think about it hmm could I use this in a journal? So, um, 
I think that's everything that I wanted to tell you about junk. Again, it's in the eye of the beholder. So, if you consider it junk, then it goes in a junk journal. This is Deb signing off. Bye.